Using automation and workflows is what I continue to always recommend when it comes to automating any type of voice drop, SMS, or even an MMS. We talked earlier about different SMS campaigns and MMS campaigns that you can do, like your loyalty programs, your reward programs, your birthday campaign. But I want to give you a little guided tour inside of workflows to help you understand how to create triggers and how to create actions with phone, SMS, or MMS. When you add a trigger, you can do things like the birthday reminder. You can also use things like inbound call status as well. You could set a trigger that has a tag, or you could also add a tag to somebody if they were on the birthday campaign, or you can add a tag if they were on the loyalty, and then you can then begin your actions. Once you get somebody in a workflow, you can do things like, let's say voice, you can do a voice drop right here, that allows you to add the voice drop. You can do manual actions as well. So you can set a manual action. What happens with this is that it sets a manual action to one of your users to notify them that they need to send a text. It allows them to manually send the text. You can also do things like send SMS. This is the most common. So once you start with your trigger and getting things up, then you can your SMS. Triggers could be they filled out a form and then from there set your actions to send a text, to send a voice drop, and you'll see right here if we were sending a specific text, you could easily send the text and add your MMS attachment here as well. The send an SMS is going to be your best friend when it comes to working with sending marketing materials like those birthday campaigns or even just regular workflow campaigns from them filling out a website form. If they leave you their phone number, they're going to get a text. So if they have a phone number inside their contact information and they've given you the phone number and they've opt in, they will get the text. You just want to make sure a few key points is that you don't put them in a million different automations. So they're getting a bunch of different texts and voicemails from you. So make sure to keep your automations clean based on the goal that you have in mind when it comes to sending those voice drops, those SMS or MMS texts. Again, make sure that you have everybody's permission, that they're entering your automation workflow based on your permissions because you don't want to get people opting out and you want to send them things that are going to continue to provide value to them. Things like birthday campaigns, things like loyalty programs, things like how-tos or link to instructions regarding your products or services. You want to engage, educate, and inform your customers when it comes to sending out voice, SMS, or MMS with inside your software. Start with a birthday campaign, start with an anniversary campaign, or just start by adding SMS messages into your already built workflows that you're using on an everyday basis so you can see how your customers are you so you can see that your customers are using SMS they do reply to SMS and that it is a great feature for you to have. You'll definitely want to play with workflows. You'll see we've got tons of recipes in here when it comes to workflows. You can add an SMS or a voice reminder to an appointment confirmation, a missed call text back. You could give them a birthday campaign, do drip sequences. You can also use text and review requests by sending them those links to get them to review you. Remember inside of reputation, you can easily set this up when you go to settings, just go into reputation and design your SMS review request right inside of reputation. If you add an image, that will turn it into a multimedia message, but you can have an image and some information and get those reviews. You can automate the review request or you can send a review request. Either way, We've got you covered when it comes to automations, voice drops, SMS marketing, and MMS marketing.